Hello family, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your February tarot scopes, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's up fam? I hope you guys are having a super fantabulous 2019. If you have not checked out your 2019 yearly read, please do so. With that being said, let's talk about the energies that are coming in for February. So February 3rd, Venus will be entering into Capricorn. What does that mean for you? It means you better get serious, baby. It's time for you to put those finances in order. Time for you to check those relationships and how you want to move forward this year, right? Now, on the 4th, we have a new moon in Aquarius getting us ready to set those intentions as we move forward. Stay tuned for a video for that. On the 10th, Mercury moves into Pisces. And on Valentine's Day, February 14th, if you celebrate that day, Mars is marching his little happy self up into the sign of Taurus. All right, he about to wreck shop. Now, with that being said, we are also ushering in Pisces season on the 18th. And on the 19th, we have a full moon in Virgo at zero degrees. All of these full moons in zero degrees are really an opportunity for us all to reset, realign, and kind of redefine our way in the world, right? Or our way in the universe. So those are the astrological things that you might be feeling this, this uh, go around this month. And with that, you know we got to pull a card for the collective. So let's pick our energy. Which will it be? Will it be card number one or card number two? So if you chose card number one, you chose the Miriam. And this is about choosing to forgive and seeing the light in all and realizing that love really has no boundaries. Whether this is to forgive ourselves and move forward or to forgive someone else, whether this is a romantic relationship, a family relationship, or a business relationship, the answer here is to forgive. When we forgive, we allow ourselves space and room and energy to move forward and make room for things that are more effective for us, that have more value, right? If you chose card number two, you have Kuthimi. This is the cloak of wisdom. <laughs> I like this card. It says, trust what you know because you already know what you need to do. All right. Let's tap into that solar plexus energy. Feel what you really need to do. Stop asking yourself, well, what do you think I need to do? And what do you think I need to do? Because that real answer lies within you. Always trust your intuition as you move forward. It's great to get guidance. It's great to get confirmation. But if the utmost feeling is coming from within you, that is your number one answer. All right. So we're lots and lots of yellow this month. So you can tap into your solar plexus energy. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And I look forward to making 2019 a one of our best years ever. Be blessed, fam. Hello, Aries. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your February tarot scope, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's up, Aries? Ow! <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back with me, guys. Big, big hugs, guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to join with me. Hopefully, you will... Um, with me join with you hopefully you hit that like the share and maybe even subscribe so let's jump into our read this read is going to be uh focused on aries sun moon and rising we're going to be looking at our mind body and soul and balancing our yin and our yang so our yang energy comes from no other than the promethean deck and this is no other than mr pazuzu okay pazuzu was a sumerian demon um you and he was neither hit the the theme for this is contradiction, okay? So he was neither good nor bad. Um, he was the one who would bring disease and pestilence, but he was also the one who protected the unborn. So very rarely do we meet people in our lives that are all good or all bad, okay? So this is about finding the contradictions in those things and understanding that, hey, um, everybody has those things, so it's going to be really important for you to keep an open mind as you move forward. With the broken arrow coming through, it says embrace the embrace the energy of peace. So I feel like coming to peace with the fact that there are a lot of contradictions that you're facing this month. Maybe people are showing you one thing, but they're really another. And it's about being exposed to situations and that you haven't felt very protected. And this is like coming back, all right? I feel like um, 
Things are coming full circle. Arguments or endings and disagreements are being resolved. Prepare to talk about things and realizing that things can not always be bad and things can't always be good because we're labeling at that point. And then we put ourselves in a position for a win or lose. So we want to find situations where it's a win-win. All right. Now, that is working with our yin and our yang. Your power animal is no other than El Patito, baby. You got the duck. This is the be here now for me, okay? Be in the moment. Duck is telling you, you need to stop, baby. What's that sound? Everyone look what's going down. Yep, baby. Pay attention to your surroundings because opportunity is there or danger. Remember, because we have Pazuzu. Explore your emotions with grace. Lots of self-expression, speaking up. This is reconnecting with family because think about the mama duck. She always got her little babies with her. Um, and emotional. This might be an emotional month. Self-confidence is going to be important. Um, communication, learning to let go. You may even want your own space. You're just like, I just want to be alone. And also a little thing about the female duck. The female duck don't settle for nothing, all right? She might think that you might think that the little duck is lucky next to her. He's like, yeah, that's my girl, that's my girl. And if she sees a better duck, she's out the door, all right? So I feel like waiting for the right opportunity to jump on, right? <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, uh, mentally you have the giraffe coming in and this is foresight. And the giraffe is for me the mother totem also. Some of y'all may be getting pregnant this month and I'll explain why I feel like that's happening. Uh, this is also about being very laid back, being very grounded, vision, intuitive, balance, and grace. Grace, again, that's tied to this animal. Strong bonds with family and friends. So Aries, I feel like you're dealing a lot with friends and family. Prayer and yoga may be necessary as you're looking into your future. But this is also about parent-child relationships. Now, with that being said, physically, we have the three of cups coming to or the three of vessels, right? And this is called the corn dance. And in the corn dance, it signifies the three things coming together, like of the, um, the essence of the corn dance is for clarity of vision that will bring lots of rewards. So your foresight, your ability to see ahead, your ability to pay attention to your surroundings to make sure everything is right is going to lead you to success. I mean, y'all out there doing the corn dance, all right? You out there sh shaking it up, baby. Now, to clarify what corn dance is trying to tell you, it's saying it's time for you to take a leap of faith. It's time for you to move off. Like she is like ready to jump off. She's moving forward. And I feel like this is the... the the fruits of your labor will show in six months, all right? That's what I feel like with the autumn equinox coming here. I don't even know what it is, but I feel like six months with this full moon that we just had um, on the 20th or the 21st, this is your time to take a risk. Take that risk at that opportunity that you've been looking at, all right? Now, on a spiritual level, you have this beautiful card called Release with the Aqua Equin Equinox. And with this card, it's really interesting because it's like there's some things that really need to be let go of, right? And that, and it's letting it go and moving forward. Now is the time to let anything in your life that no longer is beneficial, it just needs to go. It needs to move. You need to reserve your energy by allowing yourself more rest. This is going to be important as you move forward. That's why I think some of y'all might be having a baby. Consider getting rid of relationships that no longer serve your purpose. And once you release those things, what happens is you open up the opportunity for better things to happen. And I kind of feel like this is your month of opportunity, so keep your eyes open as you look forward. The reason why I say some of y'all will be having a baby is with the three of cups, the giraffe, with the lucky duck, all right? All of that energy and Pazuzu being the protector of babies, you have very fertile energy. Whether that is a baby that you are birthing or a job or a vision or whatever, just know that you have very fertile energy as you're going through, but it's going to be very important to release those things that no longer serve you. Take a chance. Jump, all right? Now, the message that I, I channeled as I was looking at these cards was you can see where you want to be, what's holding you back. Labels of success and failure can keep you stuck. Take a chance and see where it takes you. Your numbers this um, this read are 336 with the number 3 with the corn dance and 36 with coming to the edge. So, according to 336, we have... Your prayers for help, hold on, your prayers for help are being answered, okay? Such as bills, money, food, and shelter, they've been heard and they're coming to, they're, they're, you're going to be blessed, all right? Now I take 330, 336 and I took it down to 66. 
When you're burdened by worry, stress, or fear, it's more difficult to hear your angels. So it's important to focus on what you desire. It's, it's taking you back to finding opportunities in everything you see, right? The number three, number 66 comes down to the number 12. Keep your thoughts positive about the future. Whatever you're thinking will come to fruition. The number 12 comes down to the number three. All your ascended masters are near you. It's just trust, 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 okay? So you may be seeing the number 33, the number 333, the number 336, those kinds of things all month long, all right? So that is your mind, body, and soul. We are going to jump into your tarot read. Let's bless our deck together. I'm looking for my die, and I don't see it anywhere. There it is. Let's see what we got. We got a two. So we're dealing with partnerships. We're dealing with contracts. We're dealing with decisions. As I cut the deck, I have the eight of pentacles reversed with the three of pentacles. Um, I mean, the eight of pentacles upright with the three of pentacles reversed. So I kind of feel like our creativity is kind of stuck right now, but it's okay. We're going to learn some new skills. We're going to move forward. All right. First card flew out the deck. Oh, wow. Second card flew out the deck. Let's see what's going on. It was the first card was the lovers reversed. Second card is it? Okay, some of y'all found something with the number three that you didn't like. Okay. Oh, oh, a lot of cards came out. Where are we gonna put those back in? Let's see what's going on here. You're, no, y'all got Pazuzu twice. Some of you are going to be getting a new job. Look at that. Two tens in your re. Oh, no, that's a nine. My bad. My bad. My bad. I thought it was a ten. <laughs> Anyways, Prince of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if everybody's dealing with Leo or what's going on. However, the vibe that I get from this is you are extremely protected. You have Pazuzu coming in from both decks. You have information being brought into you from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I get really strong Gemini. <sighs> All right, Aries. There is something that you feel that you made the wrong decision on or you're leaving or you're walking away. Remember, that's what we're supposed to be doing with the release. We're releasing those things that no longer serve us. Maybe it was an offer. Maybe it was a job offer. Maybe it was a relationship. But this happened in the past and we're done and we're moving forward. However, I kind of feel like if you did leave someone in the past, they're watching. Like they're like, well, oh, are they okay? Like what's going on? Why aren't they calling me? Yeah, you know, <laughs> you're supposed to be wanting me back. <laughs> now, we have the magician coming through in the past because we're manifesting. So I kind of feel like even though you made, you feel like you made the wrong decision or you feel like, oh, I lost something really big. You're actually going to work with manifestation energy and you're creating a lot of solar plexus energy to move forward. Now, the three of wands that's coming through in the present, I kind of feel like this is like you're looking at this nine of pentacles and you're wondering, how am I ever going to get there? How am I going to get what I want? Because I want to get to my nine of pentacles. I want to get to that feeling where I feel successful, but I don't feel like I'm very successful right now. Aries, you can be a little impatient. Okay, just a little. Did I pull the overall card? Okay, the overall card was this. Let's pull that down. Let's see what the Three of Wands has for you. Was it from this deck? Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm getting hungry. The Three of Wands, look, there's another baby. I don't know who's having a baby, let me know. <laughs> the Three of Wands is telling you you need to wipe the slate clean, okay? In order to move forward, it's like stop beating yourself up, okay? Look and see the opportunities that you have around you and let's just, let's just start over. Because you're going to be receiving information and walking away from um, an offer. Some of y'all may be waff waff waffling. Lord, I am hungry. Walking away from an offer from a water sign because I have the Princess of Cups behind it. And it's almost like you're just like, no, that's just not what I want right now. The hidden influence is the Nine of Pentacles. You know your worth. That's the vibe I'm getting. It's like, you know what you're worth, Aries? And you're like, no, I'm not going to settle for this. I'm not going to keep going back to this job. I'm not going to keep going back to this relationship. I've got to move forward. And they're watching you almost from a distance like, hmm, how can we convince them to come back? So I kind of want to get more information on this Genesis card and see how you can maneuver that energy. Whoa. Swan. 
appreciate yourself, your beauty, your grace inside and all around you. And that goes right back to, you know, kind of going through this emotional thing. Because we have the ducks that were in the water, now we have the swan that's in the water. And you go from the ugly duckling to the beautiful swan. And you're realizing your worth, because that's your hidden potential, is the nine of pentacles. That's the hidden influence, is you're like, you know what, nah. I'm worth so much more, I'm worth so much. I'm going to keep moving in my direction. Had two cards come out. And it is leadership. You know where you're supposed to be. Now, Aries, some of y'all are being called to work with herbs, beauty products, those things. It's time for you to start creating some natural products. Now, for others, you are being called into a leadership role. And that's why you're like, no, I'm not going to take this other position. I'm not going to do that. I know what I'm worth and I know who I am. All right. Now, the advice is coming from Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or the Princess of Arrows. And this is like, let's put our resumes online. Let's communicate. Let's put ourselves on social media. If some of y'all are creating products, this is like a really good energy to be highlighted with. Okay. Now, for others, you're going to be receiving the information from this person. So let's see what's going on. Oh, does anybody want to talk to us? So we're going to go back to the animal deck on how to deal with her energy. Y'all are just healers. Especially those who are dealing with like, I feel like you like make oils or lotions or something. There's even jewelry that you're making, but you are a natural healer. So when the snake card comes out in this deck, it's going to be really important for you to clean your hands, keep them clear, shake them out. You might have like where your hands go numb and you're dealing with heart chakra issues. All right. Just know, and there's something about SS, swan snake. So I don't know what you're dealing with with SS. However, those, those two letters by leadership is really sticking out for me. What number is leadership? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to, okay, there's, let me see what number leadership is. Because, or medicine. I call it leadership because that's what it's called in my, in my head. Every time I see it, like, you're a leader. So this is all about being a natural healer. It's the number 20, and you did get the two when I rolled you. So I feel like there may be a contract that you're going to be signing this month for some of you people who are putting out um, products, okay? But there's powerful healing energy around you. There's skincare products, natural remedies, herbal remedies. Those things are coming around you. Also, you might want to dabble into counseling, energy practice, holistic healing, something of that nature. But it's time for you to take a big leadership role okay some of you are going to be figuring out that you are a healer the outcome is pazuzu pazuzu remember is neither good nor bad but this is representative of the energy of leo and this is like you're at the end of the road aries you're done you're finished and you're like protected all right this isn't so much an imprisonment i feel like this is more of a protection you are very protected as you move forward and i feel like you are in your element because you are creating something and this is gira this is the prince of wands and here he is he's creating in his element representative of you aries leo i will say aries leo as aries okay now i want to see what pazuzu has for you because i feel like since he's coming out twice i feel like he has a really strong message so we're going to go with the sacred power deck his message is to get in balance all right so this is the chakra card and so depending on what color you're really drawn to because each color will represents an energy um house in your body referred to as a chakra right so red is housed called the root chakra and the root chakra is housed like in, by the genital area sacral is a little bit under the belly button and that's going to be orange Sacral is pleasures, fun, joy. The root chakra is just like feeling very grounded and connected. Yellow is going to be significant to your solar plexus. And this is going to be for decisions and happiness and feeling very confident. Green is going to be connected to our heart chakra. And Pazuzu is very green. So uh, that is going to be located in your chest. The blue is connected to your throat chakra. This is about speaking your truth. And then the purple is connected to your third eye located in between, like on your forehead in between your eyes. And then we have the beautiful indigo with your crown chakra. So this is about maybe taking a lot of good care of yourself this month. Drink, drink a lot of water. This is exercise. This is balance. This is taking care of yourself. Some of y'all will be going to get healings or going to be healing people. Now, with this Aries energy coming in for you, I want to get a little bit more extra guidance for you. And we're going to go with this card right here. What does Aries need to know? 
You have the wise one grow within your current situation. So it's not, I feel like you need to seek advice from somebody, okay? And this is utilizing the power of that new moon. You see that new moon on top of the sign, on top of the wisdom of the owl. The new moon is on what day? Hold on. New moon on the 4th in Aquarius, 15 degrees. So on that day, pay lots of attention to what's going on and how you're harnessing that energy. And then we have the raven on her, the crow. And she's sitting there with counsel, right? So you have leadership, you have the shaman, and now you have the wise one. You may be signing a contract with a company. It's going to be really important for you to be very balanced and very much in your center as you're creating, all right? And you will be aligning yourself with someone who's going to be teaching you a lot of new skills. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and sum up this read. And your sacred sites is the Patala Palace. This is a really interesting card. I love this card so, so very much. And um, this is about guardianship. I just kind of feel like you're super connect, uh, protected. So the eternity knot on this card, and okay, some of y'all are gonna meet somebody who has a really intricate necklace because of this eternity knot here, and then the necklace on top of the medicine, uh, the, the shaman, right? There's something about jewelry also for the person you're gonna meet. Now, the Attorney Knot card is a reminder that all is connected in your life and linked to all life, therefore it has meaning. So, you need to find out more about your ancestry in order to understand who you are today. Take the courage of the lions to embrace a new hobby or sport. Widen your circle of friends. I feel like there's people who are just dying to meet you, like they just want to hang out with you. Now, in the middle world, which is in the present, it's saying, have you been forced to walk away without looking back because you just, because people decided to claim what was yours? Maybe you had to actually leave a home for financial or marital problems, or maybe you're simply abandoning a relationship or other part of you. It talks about, it's your quest for higher purpose threatening others right now. Let this card be a reminder that the Dalai Lama attained great wisdom. You too will also. But this is about going into a going and seeking counsel with the wise one, all right? Whether that is how you view your creator. Now, the Bodhavista Shen Resnick is one of the most celebrated of all deities and he is at the top of this card. And he's the embodiment of compassion. Om Mahdi Padma Hum is the famous mantra which represents the union of sound and emptiness and symbolizes the transformation of the impure human into being the Buddha body. Now, with this, Shen Resnick is saying, I'm here to help you overcome. So as soon as you're embraced by his four arms, you will sense the four immeasurable loving kindness, compassion, joy, and equanimity. Through meditation and chanting, you'll be able to reach him whenever you need him. I kind of feel like it's going to be really important for you to quiet your mind. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So basically, what this is telling me for Aries is... You feel like you made a bad decision, but you didn't because it's really leading you where you need to go. Some of y'all have some really big skills that the world is waiting for you to, to push into. This is not one of those months to partake into a lot of like, I would say, really um, careless eating of junk food. This is a time to take care of your body because you are healing, but you're also here to heal others. All right. Now. Your crystal is lapis, and this is for protection, release, and, dis and discernment. Lapis is about truth and the attainment of higher wisdom. That's that word again, wisdom. You're working with your third eye, Anja, and your throat chakra with, the, with this stone. It's especially great for releasing past anger and injustices that are keeping you back from your growth. Lapis leads us to our dreams and psychic work and progressing spiritually in our journey. On a physical level, it helps with migraines, headaches, insomnia, and vertigo, also respiratory system. Drawing this card indicates a need to exercise discrimination in all dealings. I would say discernment. It gives us the power to seek the underlining and the truth in the matter. This is about time you get to the bottom of things. And your, your angelic guide or your universal guide that's coming through is sage. This is about being devoted and committed to the change and realizing that like sometimes things take longer than what we'd like for them to be. Devotion is powerful energy. So right now the universe wants you to acknowledge how committed are you to this growth. Um, take notes of the experience or teachers making themselves known to you at this time because they're going to share those you're going to be sharing those teachings with somebody soon with the manifestation with the magician and the sage there and the wise one there's going to be an older individual that comes in this month that is going to take you under their wing and really help you establish your way in the world or in the way in the universe 
All right, with that being said, guys, a big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, guys, and hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, fam.